All right, what's going on, everybody? Tyler Lamb here, and um, it's February seventh. Um, it's right after. It's about ten forty p.m. at night. Um, I'm on the East Coast. I stay out in Virginia. Um, basically, I was shooting this video because something funny just happened to me that rarely ever happens to me. See what what I'm actually I actually just hopped off of a webinar right now. It's actually still going on, but just what happened to me, I felt compelled to hop off of it for a second and uh, just explain what happened. See, I, I'm on um, a webinar for Empower Network. It's one of the uh, 15K per month formula webinars. And today's topic, David Woods leading the webinar and he's kind of talking about developing leaders in your team. All right, so he's going through the webinar and everything like that and I'm doing my thing, kind of messing around on the computer while I'm still listening to the webinar and kind of paying attention and then kind of have my mind somewhere else and it was it's funny because what what he said that that caused something to trigger in me um he had said it already but as he said it again later on and didn't it, and it kind of affected me more basically what happened is um what david wood said at one point in the webinar it actually almost uh brought me to tears it actually almost made me cry and uh which is I say it's real funny because I am not an overly emotional person. Um, I don't get too high. I don't get too low. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Not to say that I'm stoic necessarily, but it's just even if I'm real happy, I don't. I don't per, portray portray an overly happy person. I mean, you can see that I'm happy, but I don't like what I say exaggerated. And if I'm kind of upset, angry, or mad, you can see it in me. But I don't, I'm not somebody who loses my temper real easily or anything like that. But basically, what happened was, he, and like I said, he mentioned this twice in the webinar, but for some reason it was the second time that it, like something hit me. Basically, David Wood said, he was talking about Tony Rush. Tony Rush is one of the leaders in Empower Network. And he was talking about how last month in January, Tony uh, made over about 140000 last month. And something that he said next just hit me all of a sudden. What he said this month, he said, Tony Rush, every day this month, has made between six and $9,000 a day. Between six and $9,000 a day. And I don't know what it was, but when David Woods said that, something hit me. And it literally almost brought me to tears. And I mean, I'm wearing glasses right now. You can't see my eyes. My eyes aren't watery or anything like that because it didn't actually bring me to tears. But yeah, I caught myself. But it, it almost brought me to tears. I don't know. And I, I, I think it was just something that just hit me. The power in envisioning myself being able to hit that type of level where I'm making four figures in a day making 6000 in a day, which a lot of people don't even make in a month. And something came over me when he said that. Like I said, it, it's funny when it hit me because he had already said it earlier in the webinar too. But he said it again, and then something just hit me. And I think it was just the, the struggle that I've kind of suppressed in my mind lately. Like, I haven't really had the success that I know I should have had in Empower Network by now. I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory. I've actually been in Empower Network since it launched uh, back in uh, October of 2011. Uh, 2011 is when I kind of got back into internet marketing. I kind of been introduced to it around 2008, 2009. Didn't really pay no attention to it, but I kind of got back, back into internet marketing, network marketing, um, and wanted to start it up again. So I started doing it again whatever fast forward to um, October I, I had seen David Wood and David Sharp I had seen that because I had always followed them I had seen that they had kind of went quiet for a while I wasn't getting as many emails from them so I was like what's going on I, I didn't think much of it but I was just like you know what I don't hear too much about from them anymore fast forward to October and they revealed something at an internet marketing event that they were at now I wasn't there but they revealed something in a hotel room while attending the a, a certain uh, attraction marketing company's um, event that was going on. And they revealed it to a select group of people. And basically what they revealed was the plans or the launch of Empower Network. 
And so I actually joined Empower Network back in the beginning. I was one of those people that you had to actually um, print out a non-disclosure agreement, sign it, and then fax it or actually scanned it and emailed it along with a join form where I checked off that I was going to join at the basic $25 level and I checked off that I was going to join at the inner circle $100 level. So when they first launched, they only had the three products. They had the basic, the inner circle, and the Costa Rica. And I just I decided to get in at the basic and inner circle in the beginning. So that's how long I've actually been in Empower Network. Now you would think with the amount of success that you hear from other people and how easy it is, uh, more so easier than any other thing that anybody has come upon online or in network marketing, how easy it is to generate income and generate success, you would think I've had a level of success. Well, I have and the reason being is because I've always made excuses for why I'm not getting work done or basically I didn't take consistent action. I didn't follow the eight core steps. I didn't blog every day. I wasn't on all the calls. I didn't take it seriously. I had I, I was actually I worked for um, a company, the second largest satellite TV company in the country so you can easily figure out what that one is. I worked for them as a, as a tech, as an installation tech. Um, so I hooked up people's TV service. So I was doing that and every and so I would kind of mess around with my business on the weekends or maybe mess around with when I got home. But I worked so many hours at that job that I always used that as an excuse for why I never would really get any work done and I'd always put it off until the next day or I'd always wait. I got because I, I always had three day weekends because I, I worked a lot of hours but my shift was four days on three days off so I always usually had three day weekends so I was like I'll have three days to do it I will put it off then when the three days came I would make excuses well I've been working 50 to 60 hours and so this week so I'm just gonna relax this day and then I'll get started the next day and then it just kinda piled and it never came to fruition I never got anything done and it was just a cycle over and over and over again well fast forward to November of 2012 actually lost my job there and so from November until now this is February 2013 I've actually been on unemployment um, from uh, that company um, and I took it as a as a when I initially happened I was like well, you know what this is cool this is finally gonna give me the time that I've always said I didn't have to work on my business so I was like alright that's cool now, I've always wanted to do this. This has always been my vision, even though I never really worked towards it. It's always been my vision to do it. I was like, all right, whatever, cool. I'll get on unemployment, do all that. Well, that's my side of me where I never get too up or too down, like I mentioned earlier on. Um, I never really got too down. I was like, you know what? Something's going to something's gonna be all right. Everything's going to work out. But because of that factor that I never got too down, it's, it's almost like nothing ever motivated me to drive the way I needed to having just gotten fired from a job and having nothing else and having no other income other than a three hundred dollar a week check for unemployment um, so basically after that I still you would think after all this time I would do some work like I was supposed to even from that point I still wasn't doing work with my business like I should have been so fast forward to now over the last week or so I've actually been developing my mindset a little bit better I've actually been getting starting to follow the eight core steps more consistently and I've started to have little teeny mini breakthroughs here and there um, in my mind and my personal development but I still hadn't hit nothing yet and I will always see all these people have, who have created success because like I said I've been in since the beginning all these people that have come after me and created success and I'm like eh, if only I could do that but I also knew that it was only my fault it was nobody else's fault see I never blamed anybody else I never blamed the system or anything I knew it was my fault it was just something about getting over the hurdle and actually pushing myself to do it so fast forward to now and something about this webinar that I was just on him just saying that one piece I don't know what it was but it really like I said it almost brought me to tears and I'm not an overly emotional person at all and I just felt compelled to shoot this video and throw it up on a blog post real quick as you can see, I mean, usually I do a video, I try to put on a shirt or something. I don't even have a shirt on, I just have a wife beater on sitting here shooting a video. Something compelled me, I don't know what it was. But basically, I wanted to convey in this video the message of the intent that I have 
for the next 90 days or beyond to just drive forward in my business with Empower Network as my primary focus and my primary vehicle. I deserve to be one of the leaders on stage at the Chicago event holding a check. It's my time. I believe it. I'm going to work towards it. It's going to it's going to happen. It will happen. I I will manifest it somehow. I'll work through it in my mind. I'll I'll push forward. I'll something's going to happen. I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to grind it out. But something's going to happen that's going to cause my success to actually come to fruition. And that's going to start off with me putting in the consistent work and daily action. Now, if you're somebody who's in Empower Network or you've been looking at Empower Network and wondering if it if it's really real if you actually generate success or or if it's some kind of scheme and you're not too sure trust me it's real the income that people are pulling out is crazy the, the ability to change your life in a matter of 90 days from just starting is is is, is unreal i've never seen anything like it before um but trust me um the, the whole point of me shooting this video is to be real with you as long as you put forth the effort you will be successful so if you can take it as watch me, this is basically almost like an intent message. Watch me drive over the next 90 days. And if and I suggest you hop on the vehicle with me as I push forward to this goal because it's your time for success too. You deserve that same freedom financially and time-wise that you see the others having, the leaders, the gurus having on a consistent basis generating the thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars they generate a month. You deserve that too. It's just about you pushing forward and working in it. So I suggest right now, right this instant, you click the join button below, hop on this vehicle with me because I'm shooting forward now. All right. I'm shooting forward. There's no stopping me now. I'm driving um, like I've never driven before. So I suggest click the button below. It's going to be right below this video, or there's going to be a link somewhere right below this video. You hop on with me right now. And let's ride this out. Let's create both of our access. Let's get on that stage at that next Empower Network event. Let's hold up the big checks that they got up there. All right. It's Tyler Lamb signing out. Peace.